Natalie's Life Diary presents How to Pass Finals. Step one, get ready for school. So I'm going to be completely honest, sometimes I just don't feel like going to school and I combat that problem by trying to romanticize school so it at least feels a little more fun for me and I like to romanticize school when I get ready by doing my hair. Now I don't do it every day so don't feel bad, I probably do it like once a week maybe by just adding ribbons and it just happened so on this day that I filmed it and I was doing my hair with red ribbons into braids inspired by Miss Jenny Kim from Blackpink. It's like in super chunky like freaking layers. It's kind of cute though, I don't like. And then now I have ribbon. I'm gonna attempt. I'm like reusing like old ribbon because when my friends like wrap Christmas gifts, this is usually what they do on the box. Step two, go to school and learn the material. So here I am in class in AP Environmental Science and right now I'm pulling up the notes on my laptop or the slides that they're going over because I can't really see from the pack and it just really helps me keep track of what's going on in class and understanding the material. Also, I kept on touching my hair because it kept on getting in the way for some reason. So sorry if that's annoying. <laughs> Here's another segment. I'm pretty sure this was Spanish class. Step three, get filled with yummy food because studying on an empty stomach is really hard to do. I really like veggie ramen and it was so yummy. And during studying, I also like to keep snacks on hand like chocolate. Step four is to genuinely sit down and study. So I don't have actual clips of me studying, but I just wanted to drop my study regimen, which depends on each class because each teacher makes tests differently. So their questions are made differently if you know what I mean but you just have to understand how the teacher structures their test like if most of their questions are based off the slides they show in class or like it's based off the homework problems they give and other things and also I want to remind you that your grades don't define you and the only reason why I am motivated to get good grades is to prove to myself that I can do something and to specify on what I mean by do something I mean that Last year, I just didn't do good in a class and I was like, oh, I can bring the grade up by the final and I did it and I was really sad. So I just want to redeem myself this year and work harder to prove to myself that I can do it if I tried, you know. Step five is to celebrate no matter your results. So the reason I say celebrate no matter your result, it's because grades don't define you and you put in hard work. Like I said, it's hard it's not easy and number two if you tried your best there's really nothing you could have done more right now i'm celebrating with jasmine green milk tea matcha mousse i really like matcha and there's like toppings i just opened the side thing because i couldn't pull off the thing but like if you look at it there's like it's probably like cheese foam i think but yeah also back to what i was saying um there's this one really sweet, I believe it's a she, but if I'm wrong, I don't know their pronouns, so I'm so sorry, but Aloe, if you're watching this, thank you so much. Like, your comments make me feel like we're best friends. Like, but good news, good news, I got an A- minus in calc, and you don't know how much that meant to me, because I was just really trying to prove to myself that I 
I can do something, you know, if I put my mind to it, I set my goal, I want to do it, then I can do it. And that's that. But I promise you, grades don't define you. And the moral of the story isn't like you have to get an A. It's to just prove to yourself that you can do that, something. Like, and people thought I was going to get a B, which is fine. Like, statistically looking at it, I was going to get a B. But I think I just want to prove to other people that you can do it too. If you really put your mind to it, if you really want it bad enough, you can do it. And what really helped me was, I know my math teacher is supposed to say that too, but when she told me that I could do it, she was like, you can definitely get 82. And like, I don't know, I'm not lying to myself, but I feel like that motivated me more. But just know that like, if you ever feel stressed, don't worry, because I feel that too all the time. Like, the amount of times I cried over this class was insane, just because I was like, not the only one struggling like this so i just like i hope you feel safe Now I'm reading Margaret Atwood, Moral Disorder, and I really like Margaret Atwood. Funny thing, I haven't read Handmaid's Tale though for some reason. This is so yummy. Optional step six, since I really appreciate my math teacher's words of encouragement, I wanted to get her a little gift to thank her. So here I am in Target trying to curate a little gift basket and I look so happy probably because I got an A minus Lamau. But I'm gonna do a little haul. So first we have the basket and then paper mate pens and a candle in the scent canvas. It's so cute. Oh and then Room spray, also in canvas, I'm pretty sure. And the basket again. Also, I'm gonna add other stuff too, like post-it notes and a uh, origami lotus flower. Since my semester just ended, I really wanna show appreciation to my calc teacher because, I don't know, she just really believed in me and she really helped me get that A. Like, I know, cause like, I know that the A was cause of my hard work, but I think her words of encouragement really meant a lot to me and did something for me. Like, I know that her liking me or whatever did not get me that A. Like, I worked hard for that A. But, like, her telling me that I could, you know, get an 80-something on the final, like, I definitely could do that. That's possible for me. I think that really helped. And that's why I really appreciate her. This angle is so bad. Whatever. Lotus R, okay. Yeah, I think I used the rubber band too thick, but I tried my best and it looks pretty cute, so. 